Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to easily mount ISO files for free. So there is this program called Virtual Cloud, or Virtual Clone Drive, not Cloud Drive, that's probably different. Um, so I'll have the link to this in the description, so I'm going to go ahead and install it. All you have to do is double click, click run. Go ahead and agree to the terms of use. Uh, y'all, you can read them if you want, but I don't know if you want to do that. Um, so here are the different file options that it's going to pick up. Um, you can pick to, uh, the desktop icon. You can pick to install a desktop icon. And here's the files that you can associate with virtual clone drive. I keep wanting to call it cloud drive. But, um, it's .c, .cd files, .dvd, and .iso files. Now there's also .img files, .udf, and .bin files, but I don't know what those are, so I'm just going to leave them unchecked because the only thing I'm ever going to use this for is ISO files. So we can go ahead and click next um, and install, and it's going to install. It's completed so go ahead and click close now uh, we'll just go ahead and drag that uh, setup file right there so then you'll see down here in your taskbar you'll get a little hard drive with like a CD drive and a virtual clone drive on the desktop so we'll go ahead and double click that and open it up so now this selects the number of drives that you can have so you can have two different drives which will make you have basically it will make you have two different uh, like two clone drives so if I click OK it might bring up another one or it won't um, anyway so you can have there it goes it's finally popping up but you can have two different like um, CD drives installed so you can have two different ISOs mounted at one time uh, virtual sheep I have no idea what that does um, auto mount last image so if you restart your computer or something it will automatically mount the last image that was on there uh, show tray icon, that's the icon down here in the uh, tray, and eject unmount files. So when you right click on it and click uh, eject, it will unmount the file. You know, just like if you right click on the actual CD drive and click eject, it will eject the CD drive. This will unmount uh, the file. Uh, language, select your language and info, just, you know, the info about the program. So guys, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and go to my website, www.almoc1.tk. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later, and goodbye.